Greetings, my friends, and welcome to the fourth in my series of recreations of the Metropolitan Railway in Buckinghamshire around 1900. This is a one-to-one -one layout built using Transport Fever 2 and based on the Ordnance Survey Map revision of 1898. In my last video, we travelled on the Brill Tramway, shortly to become the Brill branch of the Metropolitan Railway, from Quainton Road to Brill and now we will make the return journey. It's later in the afternoon. The crew have refueled the engine and turned it round, emptied the goods wagons and taken on deliveries for Quainton Road and no doubt had some refreshment themselves and we'll be off very soon. Last time I did not say anything about the station so let's just look around for a moment. To our left, the lane goes down to the little village of Ludgers Hall. Uh, the three cottages in the distance there you can see were accommodation for the station staff and they're still there today. Turning to our right, uh, there's the lane leading up to Brill on top of its steep hill. The station here was the operations centre for the railway and so had engine sheds and workshops, as well as the usual goods yards facilities. There's also a turntable, but there is no suitable model for this in Transport Fever 2. So I've put in um, a sort of placeholder to show you here where it was. Later, the Met remodeled the station and they put in a, another turntable where the coal bunkers were at the front, and that would have made it much easier to turn the locomotives around. There was a wooden shack by the platform, which was a ticket office and station master's room. And the platform would have been much smaller than the one shown here. Transport Fever 2 has a minimum length of a platform of 40 metres. So I'm stuck with that. But the Brill Tramway used small passenger coaches. And even if they had two of them on one train, which was rare, a platform length of 20 metres was more than enough. After the Met took over operations, the maintenance of the locomotives was carried out at the Met's own depot in Neasden in northwest London. And once a week, one of the two locomotives assigned to the Brill branch would make the trip, leaving the other as the working engine for the week, and they would change over the following week. Today, the station site is a small industrial estate, and a brewery stands where the station entrance used to be. The estate is called the Tramway Business Park and the lane to Brill is called Tram Hill. These names are the only reminders that once a railway station and a depot stood here. Well, I think we're ready to go. Unlike my previous video, there'll be very little commentary except to point out places of interest. So sit back and enjoy a ride through a countryside unsullied by the noise of motor vehicles or aircraft.
we're coming up to the siding that leads to the Brill Brickworks. And I'll pan the camera around. So you can see the works and how the siding has been cleverly lowered into the ground, which made the loading of the wagons much easier. And we're now coming up to the little station of wood siding. This was really just a goods loading bay. I doubt if any passengers ever got on here. Had a very strange glitch just now. The train got to Wood Siding Station and then reversed. Uh, so I've had to restart a couple of times. I've finally persuaded it to carry on. I hope it doesn't reverse at the next station. This is a bug I've uh, never come across before. Some cottages belonging to estate workers on the right. And we are now approaching the unmanned level crossing at Tame Lodge, where the train would stop so that one of the crew could work the gates. And there are some more uh, cottages on the estate to our left. All the land around here, of course, is part of the 10,500 acre estate belonging to Earl Temple, who had inherited the estate from the third Duke of Buckingham. I'm afraid
afraid I don't know what that is in hectares. centre of Wooten village can now be seen to our left and I'm just going to turn the camera around and see if we can catch a glimpse of Wooten house yes there it is um, where the trees are and we're coming up to church siding which marks the point where the Kingswood branch line curves off to our left and wanders around the village and finally stops in the middle of nowhere on the road towards Kingswood. This is the nearest convenient point to the village, so this is probably where the train stopped uh, unofficially, I think, to let uh, people on and off. It is possible that there was a small platform here in the very early days of the tramway. We have a few villagers out for an evening stroll on the footpath which leads down towards the station. If you like this video, do click the like button, leave a nice comment, or even subscribe. It's entirely free. And it will help give this series a little more uh, prominence on YouTube.
to our right is the now disused siding leading down to the gas works that was built for the exclusive use of Waddesdon Manor. land to our left is shown on the Ordnance Survey map as allotments. So I've divided it up into little strips and I assume that each of them was worked by uh, one of the villagers. As with some of the other stations, the platform here, the model that I've used is, is much too big, but we are limited by what Transport Fever 2 allows. Thank you. 
There's a surprising amount of road traffic coming away from Quainton. Uh, there must have been some sort of uh, show or perhaps it was a big wedding. I think we'd normally expect to see more than one or two carriages along this road at this time of night. Or this time of late afternoon, I should say. There's a Met mainline passenger train coming into Quainton Road, as you can probably see just the other side of the level crossing. And so we arrive at Quainton Road Station, the terminus of the Brill Tramway. And the passengers, if we have any, will be probably going over the footbridge in order to continue their journeys towards Aylesbury. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like or you can uh, leave a comment which would give you a lot of pleasure, or you could even subscribe to the channel and keep in touch with any new videos that I may happen to make.